Hello everybody, Sir Monkey Soon Zappy here back again with Tokyo Ghoul. We're on episode eleven of uh Tokyo Ghoul Route A or season two, whatever the fuck. Um and we're in a like a sort of an all out war essentially in one of the um in one of like the, the wards. Um so essentially it was Antique versus CCG. Um, you know fucking the black dog and the devil ape. I can't remember. I think it's what well, I think the de the black dog is like Irumi or something. Anyway, yeah, those two were you know on the verge of death. Kaneki came to the rescue, so they're still alive. Um, but soon, yeah, Yoshimura I think has passed it. I think he's I think he's done. But um, his son has just come back. <laughs> so so the yeah the um, the one eyed owl who. You know, basically Yoshimura's taken the flag for, uh, has now showed up and fucking hell, he looks like a beast. <laughs> he looks like such a fucking beast. I'm not. I'm wondering if he's um. If it's uh, a Kakuja, if that's if that's what because it, it it seems very beast like. It doesn't seem like a, like you know human figure with um, a Kagane. It seems more like beast, bestial. So I'm wondering if it's if it's um, a Kagaja, in which case it means that obviously the one-eyed owl's been feasting on um, other ghouls. But but uh, yeah, and we've also got the Kaneki and Amon thing about to go down again. Uh, I think this is the third time, right? So we'll see where that goes. Um, but yeah, I like it. it it's seemingly. I mean, well. Thing is, is if the current one-eyed owl, so Yoshimura's son, is there, does that mean Oigiri Tree's coming in then? Because I remember that they were on like the outskirts, like looking at it, right? They have decided to join in the battle, which is interesting. Um, they've come to like the aid of. I'm not sure if they're coming in for the aid of Antique. <clears throat> but maybe they're seeing it as an opportunity to really put damage on the CCG, so. You know what I mean? If that's the case, they could have come in fucking earlier. You know what I mean? Like and so, oh yeah, let's just wait until this guy dies, and then we'll jump in. I'm still, I'm still not sure if the one-eyed owl Yoshimura's son actually knows that Yoshimura, like that is his dad or not. Um, because I mean, it seems like he came in like, you know, not to protect his dad, but he, it's a bit of a coincidence that he came in after his dad died. You know, so yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, but yeah, there's nothing else to really say, so we'll just jump in at episode 11. And see how this goes. So yeah, again, Tokyo Ghoul, you know what I mean? It's a fucking, it's one of those shows that gets really, it's really fucking, it's copyright heavy. So the uh, reference footage isn't going to be in the video, um, but it is going to be full length timer based. So, you know, if you have your own reference footage and you're able to play both at the same time, watch them both, then uh, you can do. I'll count down from three to one. I'll say play. As soon as I say play, you hit play as well. All right. So, so yeah. So here we go in three. Two, one, play. Oh yeah, fucking the the owl was. He went to hit fucking um. What's he? What's he called? Shinohara, whatever his name is. <laughs> Shit, this guy's a beast. Hey, he's still alive. Oh shit. Whoa. Well, <sighs> now he's dead. <laughs> Dear me. Ho ho. Damn. Oh! Is his leg broke? Oh! <laughs> Fuck. It's like bent. He's not even bothered. Fuck.
I mean, I don't even know how he's running that far. Did he get him or not? He did. No? I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell what happened. Yeah, here comes our garage. <laughs> Isn't Nora the guy that like um, he's like he's almost like unbeatable, <laughs> just because the way his car game works. <laughs> oh man, what is this? <laughs> what is this fucking ear modern connecty thing? You know what I mean? Kaneki's like, sorry, Eamon's like, why, why is he like smiling? Like it's like a, like he's fine with it. I don't know. What kind of a gun is that? <laughs> so stupid. How was he firing it? Well, oh dear. <laughs> Fuck it all. A little knife. So. It sounds like a, like a little girl. God, he's just got to play with him, any. What a weird sound. He's using the fucking... The scythe as like a walking stick as he runs. It makes us feel sorry for him, because... <laughs> this guy's... Four squads aim on, right? Why is it so foggy? <laughs> and also, wait a minute, why is it just aim on there? Didn't he have like a whole fucking squad behind him?
Oh damn, they wait until for- <laughs> I just always get the feeling that these two- I don't know why these two need- like, ugh. I mean, I get it, I just- it's just- See, they've got the same fucking, they're on the same page. They've got to understand. <laughs> look at that, look at that, you saved, you saved their lives. Got to, come on. What meaning is there? I felt something. <laughs> Yeah, Amon is a false squad. I can't get away with that gun. It just looks like nothing. <laughs> it looks like a fucking bit of bone. Oh shit, fused to his arm. Oh shit. That was a cool weapon. <laughs> That's pretty fucking badass to be fair. And just like that he is now all alone. Up against this guy. Fucking come on. Oh, fuck. His arm's gone.
I Geary Tree, I'll just clear it out. Oh shit. Oh. Did he not allow it to take him over this time? Or what? Because I thought he was going back into some sort of like... Kakajar form there, but... I still don't like I need to understand the reasoning why these two are fighting like you know what I mean like the, the has something's got to give it, it's just it seems like it's just a friendly fucking rivalry like rival competition like, that's what it seems like but uh, are they doing it because they have to because the because society says they're on different sides. Is that the only reason why they're fighting? <sighs> Is he showing his whole face? She's... It's like two fucking like like summarize like the fucking biggest of either side and they're <laughs> you know with the, the respect yeah it's like with the respect each other but they're on, oh. it is that's the only reason they're going to each other aren't they because they're on different sides and they have to be he's dead then I I guess because she felt it so. Well, I mean, Oh, this... <laughs> Thank you.
You guys need to stop going one at a time. It's not a fucking, you know what I mean? They could just easily just all of them. Go what? No, no. They're not as if, as if, fucking, yeah, okay. How are you gonna, how are you gonna run away when you're a fucking ghoul? Come on. But this guy just got everything at his disposal, has he? Who is that guy? I have no idea who he is. I can't remember seeing him at any point. I didn't even make the connection before. Did he eat his dad? Is that what I saw? I didn't even think about like who he was actually killing there. And I I'm not. Where's Toka during all this? She's just chilling out in a fucking alleyway. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She's just running down an empty street. Meanwhile, <laughs> he's doing nothing. <laughs> Someone just there making coffee <laughs> after all that. What? Oh, is this was all in his head, possibly. Is it Hideyoshi? It is! Holy fuck! Wait a minute. What happened between him and the fucking... And the what do you call him? The, the fucking... Okay, um... Okay, episode 11. Right, okay. I, I just went back and I... I did have a look to see. I, I didn't notice it at first. I was wondering what the fuck. I thought it was just a dude. I didn't realize that the one-eyed owl like actually ate Yoshimura. I didn't even notice that when that was happening. I just thought like, because when he first popped up, I was like, who's that? 
because I thought like because of his black clothing and whatever it, it, it was um it was like um it, for some reason in my head it just looked like the kind of the sort of the armor that uh the ccg used i thought it was just one of those guys but no yeah he actually just ate his ate his dad okay so i'm guessing then that his son didn't know that that was his dad i guess all right anyway shinohara is dead Takizawa's dead. He fucking died brutally as well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, ugh. the fact that he was like the most terrified. You know what I mean? But then in the end, he kind of like, you know, because he was the one that was always getting picked on by Akira, and then at that point, at the end, they send her away so he would deal with it by himself. And because of that, he was just fucking. I think he was. I think he was bitten in half, wasn't he? <laughs> Shit. And then Hideyoshi appeared. And then. And then one of Oigiri, I can't remember his name. Is it like Noro or something? Turned around and saw him. So what the fuck happened there then? Like Hideyoshi is only a fucking. He's only. He's only a human. It's not like he's got CCG training either. So, like... Did they let him go? Or what? Or did he manage to outrun? I don't know. The thing is with Hideyoshi, he's the, like, you know what I mean? I've said this before, but he's the most, like, mysterious character. He's the most interesting one. Just because of the, just because of the position that he's in. Because he's... On, He's not a part of the CCG, and he's not a ghoul. He's the only one that's truly, like, in the middle. You know what I mean? Between them. So... I don't know. I don't know what happened. Between the, uh, between Hideyoshi and Aigiri Tree there. Um... Obviously, with Shinohara down as well, Susie has like sort of like change in temperament. He's like, <sighs> it hit him hard, but like for a moment, like where he truly like screamed out. But other than that, he was just like he didn't know what else to do but just try and attack and fight and whatever. But but yeah, and also the fact that like you know I know because of the way the ghouls like talk. It's very like, it's a bit more higher pitched. It kind of, it's like a squeal through the air, kind of. So a, a lot of the time, it'll seem more high pitched than more often than not. But um, I don't know. Like the the fuck, the fact that Yoshimura's son sounds like a little like that sounds like a girl to me. That sounds like a little girl. Playing around with that toy, so that's what that sounds like to me. So, um, I don't know who the guy with the white hair is. I, I'm pretty sure I've never seen him before. Like, you know what I mean? But um, but yeah. All right. So this is where. I'm not sure, but I'm going to have a guess as to, like, this is probably where I would imagine most people probably have issue with Season 2 because of just the sheer amount of, like, people that die in this. Like, you know, I get it, it's a war, so you're going to have people die on both sides. But the fact is, like, at this point, considering all the people that died, you've killed off pretty, pretty much all of the interesting characters. You know what I mean? Um, Amon being the being the being the biggest one. Like, I mean, they even they, they even say it, like during the fights, like like we shouldn't even be fighting. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? And the only reason they are fighting is because society says they are on different sides. That's it. That's all it is, and that's the only reason they're fighting. So you know, Amon dying is not the greatest. 
That was not the greatest. So, you know, it, I think it's a it's a good thing that this is just a route of like a different route where like this doesn't lead to anything. Like, you know, Tokyo Ghoul Re follows a different like what could have been a different season two. You know what I mean? It follows on from a different path where these kind of things didn't happen. So in Re, I don't know who I expect to see alive. Um, I'm gonna have to get up like a like a. Uh, I don't know because I don't really read, um, so I'm not gonna really read the manga. But I'll I'll find like I'll, there's got to be like a video or something explaining what happened um, between series one and 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 re, um, because obviously this one doesn't make any, you know, this one basically doesn't make any difference. The only reason I'm watch I'm reacting to this is just to get little sort of character nuances and world building stuff. So. Um, but yeah, like I think you know, you've killed off, you know, characters that really sort of keep the keep the story going. You know what I mean? Like I get like we're coming up to the end. I think next is next episode, the last for this one. It is, yeah. So. Yeah, I guess we're coming up to the end. I guess it doesn't really matter. If it was always their intention to not carry on this story, you know what I mean? I feel like they may have wasted it a bit, you know what I mean? Like, if they were going to do this, could they not have done this, like, later on? Instead of, like, you know what I mean, having Route A be, like, you know, situated right after Season 2, uh, Season 1, sorry, and then, you know, and then you go through this, and then you get to Re, which isn't a continuation of this, but just because it just makes things much harder to fight, kind of fall. I mean, it's easy when people explain it here, but you know, it kind of it's it is strange how the how they decided to do it. Um, but yeah, so it is coming up to the end. So you know, what I mean, it's not like they have to continue the story, I guess, without these characters. Um, so yeah, but we'll just say uh, we'll just say how season. Uh, episode 12 goes Let's see what that's about anyway yeah that is all for episode 11 so thank you everybody for watching in the uh, links in the description you know what I mean there's a bunch of different places you can go where you can go to you know, discord uh, I urge you want to go over there especially if you want me to uh, react to a certain show because that's where polls and things start also if you just want to go over there and talk to me the community you're free to do that as well my PO box address is in the description below so if you want to send me anything you can do with that address there and also patreon so obviously different tiers and rewards depend on how much you want to support me with the most popular one is five dollars every month that's early access so um not only do you get access to, to episodes a week early uh you get access to two extra videos per show um than the general public gets so the general public get two episodes every week of the patreon shows if you're an early access uh, tier patron you get them a week early and you get four so you get four Psycho Pass, four of Suzumiya Haruhi, four of Tokyo Ghoul, and four of Code Geass every single week. Um, so yeah, if you're uh, clamoring for more reactions from me, that's the place to go. $10 a month, that's full length, so if you want to see my full length reactions to all the shows that I do, that includes all the shows obviously that I just mentioned, plus my hero, Attack on Titan and Re Zero, all of them, um, then that's where you want to go uh, for that. Uh, exclusive tier, that is... Um, $15 a month that gives you access to another show that I'm currently reacting to which is uh, Parasite um, Also all OVAs go into the exclusive tier and when I start reacting to movies they go into the um, Exclusive tier as well uh, Elite tier that's $50 a month that'll give you access that'll give you sorry a choice of one show that you want me to react to and I will react to it It'll go to the back of the, back of the queue back of the list It'll be put in the backlog of like seven shows or whatever that's there now so it will take a while to get around, but I will do it. Um, unless you want to jump the queue, then you get the God tier, which puts your show at the very front, which means your show will be reacted to next. Um, the only rules across those last two tiers are that it must be a show that is 150 episodes or less, and it must be a show that I've never seen before. Um, and yeah, they're both accumulative God, God tier and Elite tier, which means obviously with my Patreon being paid on a pay monthly basis, um, every time you make a payment you get a choice so if you pay a hundred dollars uh, for the first month and then you know second month comes along you pay another hundred dollars you get another choice third month comes along third choice fourth you know so on so forth but that is all so thank you everyone for watching i'll see you all next time bye bye